Hello everybody, you are welcome to Better Faith E-Learning Center or E-Learning Platform. My name is Basilo Demada and I'll be taking you basic technology for the GSS1 class. Um, right last week, I guess many of us well, we can still remember the topic we did, um, but today we are going to be dealing on um, meaning and causes of workshop accidents like hazard. Now, take note that basic technology is actually dealing mostly on practical things that has to do with the workshop. But why we are handling these things in classes today is actually because we just have to know the theoretical aspect of it and the foundation of it so that we go to understand it when we get to the field or whenever we are opportunity to get to the field on that particular aspect. Now, many of us know what accident is all about and many of us know what a hazard is all, uh, all about. Now, we're talking about hazard, we're talking about the danger. Now, there are some of us who uh, will say, we do know there's a, a particular profession that will say, we do not want to be this type of profession because of the fear of this. Now, you're actually explaining or talking about the hazard of that particular profession. There are most of us today, they will say they do not want to be medical doctors or they don't want to be nurses. Why? Because they are afraid whenever they, they have any sort of sight of blood. So, talking about those are the hazards to them because they do not want to have that. There are most of them that have a reason or the other to dislike a particular profession, while others have a reason or the other to like what a particular profession. But right now, we're going to be dealing with uh, what we have on the board for uh, at this very point. Here we have any harm or injury that is done to a student. Now, students need to be specific here because definitely while you are carrying out some instructions or while you are carrying out some practices, you, the student, is involved in that particular form. Is there any uh -huh, or injury that is done to a student in the workshop while he or she is working on the machine? It's called an accident. Now, definitely, accident most times and almost all the time are not deliberate. Definitely, an accident is something that is not expected. Now, since the stuff is not expected, so what is actually entailed is that it can happen at any time. So a student has to be used here because definitely, as time goes on, maybe maybe those of us that are in the Jet Soul Club or some of that things we do, maybe if you are given an, a place or having a workshop to carry out some design, when an accident happens, which you know that is not deliberate, then you should be able to know that that is classified to be a work, to be an accident. Now, definitely, we are going to be talking about the types of accidents and hazards. Now, um, if, now, if we know that there are some accidents that are not deliberate, but why are there are some that are deliberate? Now, for example, we're talking about those deliberate forms. Let me use a, a, a driver, for example. You are asked not to over speed when you are supposed to use a particular type of speed on a particular road or you are asked to always use your seatbelt but your refusal to do that now led to an accident that occur that during the process of investigation it will be found out that yes you, you the something was deliberate or you decided to take out some measures that was not supposed to be taken at that time so i'm using that example to determine or to explain the accident that are uh, created deliberately and those that are not in the form deliberately. Now, we have the types of accident. We have the man-made hazard and we have the word, the natural hazard. Definitely, there are man-made accidents that are being made by man or there are man-made hazards that are being made by man and there are some that are just natural beyond human understanding. Now, many of us must have heard or must have watched some uh, TV video will have earthquakes, for example. Now you could know very much that that is not that is not a man-made. For example, maybe you have during the rainy season we have a heavy uh, uh, breeze or, or a heavy storm. You don't discover that all of a sudden a branch of a tree falls on a vehicle, for example. That is not man-made, but that is what that's natural. So from there, that we're not able to make, know what uh, the hazard that was man-made and that that was natural. But before we go deeply into this in our next class, we will have to explain what are actually the causes of accident in of a student in a workshop. Now, looking at what we have, here, we are told that when students do not follow the manufacturer's or teacher instruction on how to use the machine in a workshop. 
Now take note, before you go into the laboratory, for those of us that know the physics laboratory, you will discover that there are instructions that are being mounted on the top of the instructions you are supposed to follow. For example, now do not eat while the laboratory, for example, uh, or does not take some devices in there. Why? Because you are going to deal with an experiment. Now, if you tend to violate this instruction from the teachers or the manufacturers of that particular thing, then automatically you are creating room for accident for yourself. It's not, for example, most of the time we are being told whenever we get our generator, do not foil your gen while it is running. Why? Because the manufacturer have discovered that maybe sometimes you cannot discover that why it's running and you are falling. God forbid there might be an explosion which you can't tell. But some of us or some people tend to read this which we know that it is what is very bad. So now, when students do not follow, apart from students, when people do not follow the manufacturer's work instruction. Now, what your two steps or that? Students are not careful enough in the workshop while handling the machine. Now, if you remember very well, I do, okay, you, you guys are in J class. You just discover that most of the times there are now, now hazard, there are some uh, practicals that have been done in school, for example, the chemistry practical, for example, where you discover that most students that are not careful may just expose themselves on a concentrated acid without knowing. Now, you are entering into a lab and you should be able to be careful. And those of you that are going to the basic technology lab or the physics lab, or maybe for example now you just decide to hold a naked wire that is connected to the source, which we are not supposed to go in that direction. So, as at that point, you are not careful, but we are advised to be more careful. Number four, three is say, students play rough in the workshop. Just like we said earlier, in every job post in the laboratory in Better Facebook School, you are asked to not play rough play, you are supposed to stay in a particular position to uh, avoid some unnecessary uh, disaster that you may not like. The number of people are saying, the machines being used are not in good form because they are not service regularly. Now, you may mostly encounter this in bigger organizations where the management care less about their devices or the, about their technological equipment. Now, we are being told that the machine being used are not in good form because they are not service regularly. Now, all this may be as a result of finances. Because for you to service all these things, for example, you need finances. It's not like a vehicle that has been abandoned on a particular compound for more than three months. The something has not yet been serviced. So definitely, you should know that anything like that, any machine like that, there will be a damage. So before that is used, there's something to be serviced regularly to avoid what breakdown. Then finally, we are told that the one out part of machines are not replaced on time. Now, this one always, uh, always happens with most of our drivers on the highway. Now, most of them you discover that you, they will have a worn out tire, an expired fire, a, a fire extinguisher, and they mount the road. So, during that process, you will now discover that the worn out part, for example, uh, uh, machine are not replaced. Now, we are I'm using that as an explanation for you to actually know that most of these things that you are used to in the everyday life, all these things are also applicable, or most people tend to carry out these bad. Uh, bad uh, issues or the disease, bad uh, habits in their workshops. So on this note, you can understand this is five are one of many causes of accident. But just because of brief storm, we have to stick like it. So on your own, you should go to know that there are a lot of causes of this accident which are avoidable. Now on that you should be able to know what by the mammal hazard and the natural hazard. So in our next class, I guess we should be able to go into more to actually explain what this hazard does and the effect, the bad effect on man and society. So I pray that uh, when we come back from the pandemic, we should be able to go deep into these things and have a wider range of view. So I wish everyone of course good luck and I hope that you stay safe. Thank you.